Good day everyone! Welcome to AMCC Dashboard featuring Academic Emphasis Day. On behalf of AMCC family, I would like to convey our warmest greetings of love and happiness. God is indeed good all the time. Let us be grateful to God for His sustaining grace and provision. That amidst difficult times, we are still here serving you all. Academic Emphasis Day is designed to promote the different programs of AMCC. To guide our young people what course to take and why you must be enrolled at AMCC. At AMCC, we deliver harmonious education and adaptable learning system. Adventist education promotes development of the whole aspects of students, and AMCC develops her students physically, mentally, socially, and spiritually. To the parents, thank you for trusting AMCC, your partner in education. And yesterday, the BS Physical Therapy and BS Nutrition highlighted or showcased their department. At AMCC, Allied Health and Medical Sciences courses are offered. So if you want to become a frontliner, AMCC is the best school to equip you, to train you, and to hone your potentials and possibilities. AMCC also offers Bachelor of Secondary Education, Major in English, and Bachelor of Elementary Education. Now, enrollment is going on. So, if you are outside of Iligan City, you can enroll online. Just visit our website at amcc.edu.ph. So if you are from Iligan City, you can come to the college because we also entertain walk-in introlis. To continue, we will be hearing an inspirational message from Sir Montero. And he is a faculty member of the high school department. Before he speaks, let us listen to a special song. Oh, 
to drugs. But you know what friends, Dwayne didn't go far. But instead of going away from other town, Dwayne lived at the backyard of his mother's house. That later on, he built a, he built a small house. He built a small hut and he named that hut a casino, a place where he used drugs together with his friends. Now, years later, when he was at the age of 19, Dwayne came to realization. Dwayne accepted Jesus Christ and Dwayne changed from being a drug user, from being a drug pusher. Dwayne became a new person because of Jesus Christ. You know what, friends? The casino that he built at the backyard of his mom, he built for using drugs, was changed after 10 years after it became a church. And mostly of the members of the church are the drug users together with Dwayne being together at a certain place. Dwayne came to saving faith in Jesus. You know what? Dwayne was once a dark and forbidding place that he once had before in his life. But because of Jesus Christ, because of his hope that he looked forward to God, that God can change his life, that God can give a light to his darkness, he was changed because God gave him an assurance that God will change his life. As, I, as what I've said, the church, once a place where they used to use drugs all the time, became a place where they worshiped and prayer together. Now, throughout of their studies, throughout of their worship together, Dwayne and the leaders of the church look at the, the life of Jeremiah, especially in chapter 33, for how God can bring healing and restoration to people and places. As what the changes that Dwayne experienced, you also can, can be changed, can be restored by God's grace. Prophet Jeremiah spoke to God's people in captivity, saying that although the city would not be spared, although that the city of God, chosen city of God, will be destroyed, God still promised 
that God will restore His people. Yet God would heal His people and would God rebuild them. Cleansing them from their sin. If you can read that one in Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 7 to 8. And especially in chapter 9, in verse 9. Then the city would bring him joy, renown, and honor. Now friends, this morning, when we are tempted to despair over the sin that brings heartbreak and brokenness, friends, let us remember that let's continue to pray that God will bring healing and hope to all of us. Even at his, his done in the backyard of Minenberg at South Africa to the life of Duane. God can heal you. God can give you hope. God can restore you in spite of your sinfulness right now as long that we, are, we have decided to go back to God, as long that we think that we need God in ourselves as long that we as, as long that we will go to God God will give us a restoration in our life this morning friend I have questions to give to you before I end before I pray to all of us there is a question that we need to ponder every day in our lives today have how have you seen God brings restoration in your own life and in your lives to others. How can you pray for His healing this day? How can you think to go back to God and to put God restoration in you in this sinful life that we have right now? Friends, God is calling you and me today to go back to Him, to, res to be restored by Him, to be healed by Him, and to be with Him now and forever, especially on the second coming to all of us, that we enjoy heaven for eternity. Friends, are you willing to be with God? Are you willing to be restored with God? Are you willing? Thank you, Sir Montero, for your inspirational talk. And you're watching AMCC Dashboard via AMCC Facebook page. And you can support this program by sharing this to your friends here and abroad. Or you can host a watch party. Joining with me as our guest is the representative of the Medical Technology Department. She is a licensed medical technologist and an alumna of AMCC. She is Ms. Cheryl Sahulga. Ma'am Cheryl, how are you today? Yes, ma'am. Good morning. I am doing good. I'm fine. Yes, that's great. Now, how about the enrollment in your department? Yes, the enrollment started yesterday. And as I have seen in the, in the system, there are already students who have started their enrollment. And there are also new students now who have started processing for the enrollment. Wow, that's great news in your department. How about the latest board exam? Yes. Any updates? Yes, ma'am. That's what we are waiting for since yesterday, even until the wee hours last night. And until now, 
there is still no result available. Okay. And we are still um, praying. For yeah, it. we'll pray for the positive results yes. of the board exam. Now, I am giving now the time for Miss Cheryl to showcase her department. And Ma'am Cheryl, it's your time to introduce your department. Yes, Dr. Laila, thank you for giving us the opportunity to promote our program. Okay, so this presentation is for everyone or for anybody who is in, the, in college or a high school graduate who is um, contemplating to enroll in the Bachelor of Science in Medical Laboratory Science degree. So first, I will introduce the name of the degree. It is Bachelor of Science in Medical Laboratory Science or BSMLS. But in the past, it is called as the Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology. So I hope that we will get used to its new name. And then, okay, so what is Medical Laboratory Science degree or Medical Technology? So I will introduce it to you. It is a four-year program. And the course or subjects that are included herein are the general education subjects. To give you an example or to give you examples of the general education subjects, we have the understanding the self, um, mathematics in the modern world, as well as ethics. Okay? And the next to that is the core courses. Examples, health information system, community in public health. And then the professional courses, of course. And included in the professional courses, for the first year, we have the principles in medical laboratory science. In the second year, we have parasitology, human histology, and um, laboratory management. And then, in the, and of course, in the third year, all are professional courses already. And for the clinical internship, it is a one-year program in this, um, in this new CMO. Okay, or, okay. So to give you a glimpse about the clinical internship program, so students will be exposed in the private and public hospitals. And to, uh, the sections where the students will be rotating during the clinical internship are, first we have the clinical chemistry section. Second, we have the clinical microscopy section, which includes parasitology and urine, uh, analysis of urine and other body fluids and the blood banking and one um last year we are affiliated with the uh, red cross in cagayan de oro city for the internship of our students and next we have the bacteriology of course and then the hematology section immunology and serology and the histopathology and cytolo cytology and of course um, a new subject in the new curriculum we have the molecular Okay, first of all, we have here licensed medical technologists. A bunch or a huge number of medical technologists are in that field of specialty. So they are working in the laboratory, in the hospital. And um, we also have diagnostics molecular scientists. So a very um, famous test that we have now, especially in the time of pandemic, the RT-PCR that is included under diagnostics molecular scientists. And then all the rest, research scientists, educators, public health practitioners, and healthcare leaders. And another, under allied medical fields. Um, the most interesting here for me, an example is the forensic science. Okay, so those of you who do not know, forensic science is all about, or the work of a medical te technologist in the forensic science is to gather biological data, such as in a crime scene, for example. Um, blood samples, um, mucus, hair, and the likes. Okay, and then the rest we have um, health administration, food and industrial micro microbiology. Those are also very interesting fields of specialty. Okay, and 
Here, I would like to present the highlights of the medical technology licensure examination of our department or of the school. So there are actually a lot of highlights, but um, I just included the things that I have gathered in our department. Okay. So first, we have the March 2016 board examination where um, it placed the, the school in the top 10, in the top performing schools. So that is our record. And we also have a top notcher in the name of Almer B. Gomisad. He topped the board exam in March 2014. He is um, top 8. Okay. And the last um, medical technology licensure examination re uh, result is 80%. It have, or it was held in September 2019. So for January 2021, 20, we are still waiting for the result, hopefully um, today. And those, these are um, tarpaulin, or these are the uh, registered medical technologists of um, AMCC. So this will just give you a glimpse of our um, passers. And also those of you who wants to become a scholar, actually there is a safeguard scholarship, okay? Um, and then we have recipients actually in that scholarship. It was in the year 2009 to 2012. After that, um, there's nobody who uh, became a recipient in this institution, in the safeguard scholarship. So we have Aiko Marisi Sanico and Almer B. Gomisad. And I am proud to say that they are my um, classmates. Okay, so we have Aiko and Almer. So hopefully in this year, there will be a safeguard scholar. So if you want to be a safeguard scholar, you may inquire it in the department. And then I would like to present the, um, the people in our department. First, with our dep uh, de department dean, we have Dr. Sara Hinogin Kasho. She is a medical doctor special specializing in the field of pathology. And then we have the faculty members. First, we have Ms. Merjalu Bienes, uh, Ms. Yu Mrs. Yup Midori Okishima Ekin, Jenry Ken Vincent Mibato, I myself, Cheryl Sahulga, and we also have Ma'am Arlie Jean F. Sinahon. Okay, so these are the area where you will be working in the laboratory. Okay, so I hope that you will now have a glimpse of what you will study in this degree. Okay, so by the way, if um, you are wondering, um, medical technology is a very interesting um, course wherein the microscope is your best friend and you will see a different amazing world under it and the the details of those microorganisms you will really um, be amazed and you will really say that god is a wonderful um, creator okay and i am showing you now um, the glimpse of our activities of course, um, we, we participate in the regular activities in our church and their um, academic activ activities as well. They, uh, they are exposed in the laboratory, they go for internship, and then our social activities as well. So in here in the school, um, you will not be exposed only or you will not only learn academics, academic lessons, but you will also learn to... Uh, know or to become closer to God and you will also socialize with your other classmates and so I am inviting you to enroll now in the uh, medical technology and build your future with us welcome to the Adventist Medical Center College Iligan Incorporated Formerly the Mindanao Sanitarium and Hospital College is one of the colleges of the Seventh-day Adventist Church located in Iligan City, Philippines, recognized by CHED to offer allied health and medical sciences through the philosophy of Adventist education. AMCC offers the following programs, Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology, 
This program provides students with the necessary skills and training in conducting laboratory tests that are used in detecting, diagnosing, preventing, and treating various diseases. Bachelor of Science in Nursing. This program aims to develop nursing students who are capable of providing holistic care to individuals of different ages, gender, and health statuses. Bachelor of Science in Nutrition and Dietetics. This program teaches students with the principles and procedures of the use of food for therapeutic purposes in the management of persons suffering from a disease. Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy. This program designs students to focus on the identification, discovery, isolation, synthesis, and formulation of biologically active compounds for clinical use. Bachelor of Science in Physical Therapy. This program teaches students the knowledge and skills in the rehabilitation and treatment of individuals with disabilities resulting from injury, illness, and aging. Bachelor of Science in Radiology Technology. This program trains students on the operation of medical imaging equipment, such as X-rays, CT scanners, MRIs, sonogram machines, and 3D medical imaging programs, among other computer and web-based software programs. AMCC also offers complete junior and senior high school grades 7, 8, 9, and 10 for the junior high school and grades 11 and 12 for the senior high school with the following academic strands. Accountancy and Business Management, Humanities and Social Sciences, and Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Also, AMCC offers preschool education from nursery to kindergarten one and two. AMCC is headed by exemplary administrators and excellent faculty and staff equipped to give future allied health professionals the necessary knowledge and skills to be efficient and effective health practitioners. Now, AMCC's internet connectivity through Wi-Fi is accessible anywhere you are in the campus. To aspire greater challenges in the fields of health and academia amidst challenges, AMCC is now ready to offer its quality education through the new learning management system platform where teachers are completely hands-on. AMCC LMS serves as a safe and secure yet stable and special mode of learning where students can still acquire the necessary lessons while online. We in the Adventist Medical Center College are prepared to conduct classes in the new normal setting. The teachers worked hard and are guided by the core values, academic integrity and accessibility, moral uprightness and motivation, creativity and consistency, commitment and compassion. AMCC does not only promote cultural diversity and provide globally prepared graduates, we also value what you can become because AMCC heals high-class education and adaptable learning system. Come and enroll now at Advanced Medical Center College Iligan and build your future with us. Thank you, Ms. Cheryl, for giving us the detailed information of the medical technology program. And I would like to encourage our young people that the best time to enroll in BS Medical Technology is now. And the best school to prepare you to become a future frontliner as a medical technologist is AMCC. Today, another chairperson who will be 
introducing his department and the programs of the department. He is the chairperson of the Bachelor of Science in Radiologic Technology. He is also an alumnus of AMCC and he is Sir Jeril Obarco. How are you, Sir Jeril? So far, so good, Doc. Wow, yeah. that's great. Now, how about the how about the enrollment in your department going on? Um, so far, Doc, uh, we have lots of uh, students who are inquiring us since last uh, week. They are eager to enroll in our department. Yeah, that's our great. Okay. Yes, so we can enroll anywhere? Yes, Doc. Online? Yes, Doc. They can access online. It's our students, our young people who want to enroll in BS Radiologic Technology. You can enroll online. Just visit our website. And today, Sir Jeril will introduce his department. He will showcase his department for us to know what is Radiologic Technology. Sir Jeril, it's now your time. Thank you, Doc. Um, good day, everyone, especially our viewers, uh, our televiewers who are watching us from home, our parents and uh, our students. You know. uh, I will present now, I will showcase my program. Um, if you are a techie person, you know, meaning to say you love technology, you love um, computers, and you love um, uh, the updates of the technology. And at the same time, you want to help humanity, and you want to work in a hospital um, setting. You want to be part of uh, our frontliners in the future. I think this is the best course for you. Let me present to you, or introduce to you, the Bachelor of Science in Radiologic Technology. Okay. Thanks. Okay, what is Bachelor of Science in Radiologic Technology? This is a four-year degree program designed to train students on how to operate medical imaging equipment, such as x-rays. I know x-rays are very common in the hospital. Uh, CT scans, MRIs, sonogram or ultrasound and 3D medical imaging programs among other computer and web based Handle this kind of machine as you see in the uh, in the monitor in the screen. Uh, that machine you will uh, you can uh, start uh, handling that kind of machine. Okay, that's very common in hospital uh, when uh, people are uh, asking for examinations such as uh, chest X-rays, uh, the limbs, uh, skull. Uh, it's very common. What else? The CT scan machine. This is a CT scan machine. Now, after you graduate and you finish and you pass the board exam and you are a license, you will just uh, undergo a training no? for just six months. No? Uh, it depends on the, on the uh, hospital who handle the training. Some hospitals are only uh, in a 
in just uh, three months and most, mostly six months. You can handle this machine and you will be called a CT scan technologist. Yeah. And the next is the MRI. MRI. This is the same with the CT scan, but we are using um, magnetic energy. Uh, this is very safe. Now, in terms of medical imaging, this is one of the safest um, modality uh, in imaging department. Okay? And the next one is the ultrasound. Uh, this is very common for the patient, uh, pregnant patients. No, but this is not limit, limited only for pregnant patients and also for a thyroid scan, even in the heart. No? If you are familiar with the 2D echo, they are using ultrasound machine. And this is safe also because we are using uh, sound waves. No? We are not using uh, an X-ray or gamma rays. Okay? Okay? And the next one is the nuclear medicine. Nuclear medicine is a special um, section where the patient is injected with a, pharma, a radio pharmaceutical no? agent or solution. No? They will be injected in the body so that they can trace the cancer uh, cells in the specific um, uh, body parts. Okay? You will learn that if you enroll in our, in our uh, uh, program. How about the radiation therapy? Uh, radiation therapy is one way of killing uh, cancer cells no? combined with the chem, uh, um, what we call this, uh, chemotherapy. Uh, that's a radiation therapy. We are using here uh, in, an intense uh, radiation, uh, intensive radiation, just like the gamma rays and uh, x-rays like that okay okay and um, we have some some of our alumni are already uh, successful working abroad now i will show you some of them uh, okay, next okay okay this one uh, that is uh, our alumni here in uh, our school, that's, that's the first one in the left side, is uh, uh, Philip Angelo. He's working now in Chicago. No, he's a ra uh, licensed radiologic technologist in Chicago. And the other one is uh, Romeo, I forgot his uh, surname, his family name, but he's working in uh, UAE. No? Is uh, they are, um, they are uh, very successful, okay? And this one also, my classmate, no? he is now in Bahamas. No? He is a, a, a CT scan technologist in Bahamas, no? working with other uh, radiologists uh, around the world. Okay, and we also produce top notchers. Uh, in, to, in class uh, in 2001, we produced top one, no? the name of Melody Fair Lisundra. And top two, um, in class 2002, and top three, Almira Miraato, class 2004. And the latest is uh, top eight, uh, the name of Roldan M. Datuin. And... We rank number three in the radiologic technology school in Mindanao based on 2009 radiologic technology licensure examination. I'm proud that I'm part of the 2009 uh, radiologic technology examination. So we are inviting everyone to be part of our uh, program. Maybe you will be the next top notcher. Who knows? No? In God's grace. And uh, if you haven't um, uh, decided yet uh, what course to be, take, uh, to be taken this second semester, please, please consider Bachelor of Science in Technology. And by the way, 
I will show to you our facility. Uh, we, or, uh, we purchased, no? uh, last year we purchased our new um, GE uh, X-ray machine. This is, uh, we purchased it and we, all, we uh, and it is 100% um, uh, functional, okay? And look at our classrooms, so air condition. We have air conditioned classrooms. And also in, in Iligan, we are the only one who have acquired this kind of phantom. This is called a radiographic phantom. This is very expensive. We purchased this just for our students. No? Because we are not allowed to expose the body parts of our students during clinical, uh, during a laboratory, we purchase this just for our students. So if you, if you expose that, it's just the same exposing the real hand. Okay? So once again, we are inviting all our students, our viewers, especially our parents, send your, your, your students to us and... Uh, Maybe they will be the next top notchers that we will produce. Okay, thank you, Mom, for the time. Thank you for your time. And God bless. Have you ever wondered how those x ray films are read to diagnose ailments? Do you enjoy helping people? Does paying close attention to details come natural to you? Interested in how technology is used for healthcare? Perhaps you might want to consider radiologic technology. What is Bachelor of Science in Radiologic Technology, or BS RadTech, is a four-year degree program that trains students on operating various medical equipment that includes CT scanners, MRIs, and X-rays. Radiologic technologists perform imaging examinations to patients. They are responsible for positioning patients on the lab equipment to ensure that a quality diagnostic image is produced. They work closely with radiologists in diagnosing these images for any possible disease or injury. To be a licensed professional, graduates must take first the Radiology Technology Licensure Examination of the Professional Regulations Commission. What are the subjects included in BS Radiology Technology? Aside from gaining skills and knowledge in using different medical equipment, here are some of the core courses that you will encounter on this course based on the Commission on Higher Education. Human Anatomy and Physiology Medical Terminology Introduction to Research Research Writing Statistics What skills do you need to have to succeed in BS RadTech? To be a successful radiologic technologist, you will need certain set of skills that go beyond training and theoretical knowledge. Here are some of them. Clinical efficiency, organization skills, good communication skills, and logical skills. What are the career opportunities for graduates of BS RadTech? Graduates from this course can have a wide range of career options that they can take either locally or abroad. Here are some of them. Computed Tomography Technologist Radiation Safety Officer Digital Subtraction and Geography Technologist Radiation Therapist Nuclear Medicine Technologist and Geographic Technologist Interventional Radiology Technologist Positron Emission Tomography Technologist Magnetic Resonance Imaging Technologist and Ultrasound Technologist While there are many schools in the Philippines that offer this course, Advanced Medical Center College has a complete program in developing and equipping future rad techs who are God-centered, service-driven, allied health professionals. What do we have to offer? We have competent instructors to teach you the science and art of radiography. We have a state-of-the-art radiology laboratory facility to enhance your proficiency in the field of radiologic imaging science. Interested in taking a course in radiologic technology? Or do you want to learn more tips in choosing the right course for you? 
visit Adventist Medical Center College located at Barangay San Miguel, Iligan City or you may call 221-9219 Adventist Medical Center College We value what you can become So build your future with us Thank you, Ma'am Cheryl and Sir Jeril, for giving us an overview of your respective uh, department. And can we invite now our students and our also parents that they can send their children here at school? Okay, so AMCC enrollment is going on. So enroll medical technology. So I am inviting each of you. How about you, Sir Jeril? Okay, uh, we are inviting all those, uh, our, our viewers, to please send your children to us. And uh, we will take care of them. We can assure that. And they have a bright future with us. Yes, because as you have said, if you want to become a frontliner like medical technologist and radiologic technologist, the best school is AMCC, right? Yes. Okay. So I am also personally inviting everyone, especially our young people, to enroll at AMCC. Enrollment is going on, but we prefer online enrollment, but we also entertain walk-in enrollment. So no need to waste your time at this time. Even though amidst crisis, do not hinder your dreams to be hampered. But you have to continue, continue, continue dreaming because at the end, you will become successful. So as I said, no time to waste. You need to spend time building your future. Your future starts with AMCC. Okay? And the best time to enroll in BS Radiologic Technology, BS Medical Technology is now. Okay, so thank you very much. And I am inviting once again everybody to join us tomorrow because there will be another department who will be showcasing their programs and that is the BS Nursing and BS Pharmacy. So join us again tomorrow and see you. So thank you everyone and stay safe. God bless you all.